How's it going everybody? It's Mike Gibson here again with Gibson Works. And we're going to do another tabletop topiary. I'm going to do another uh, quick design, a quick and easy spiral that anyone can do. And this, what we got here is a one gallon Alberta spruce, a dwarf Alberta spruce. And the cool thing about these plants uh, is that uh, they can actually survive on the indoors. One thing about it is you got to make sure that you're keeping the soil nice and moist. You want to spray it periodically. I like to water mine once a week. Make sure you have it by a window, uh, somewhere that can get some indirect sunlight or even direct sunlight. And now it's a little chilly here in, in Youngstown, Ohio. But uh, if you're somewhere warm, you can easily have these right on the porch. Put it in a nice uh, pot. They can go right outside your door. It's very inviting to anyone that is walking up and about to knock on your doorstep to see this beautiful curb appeal uh, art sculpture for a topiary. So uh, let's just jump right in here. So what I'm using today, I have my handy dandy grass shears actually is what they're called, but they're perfect for topiaries because they have a nice long uh, hardy blade as well. Very easy to make cuts with and they get very sharp as well. And you wanna make sure you keep those nice and sharp. I also have some needle nose uh, snippets here right now and some bypass pruners. So what I'm gonna do is actually I see a couple branches that I don't want and take that guy right out and I'll tell you what, I see now notice that it has more foliage coming at the bottom but not right over here. Looks like I got a little friend with me as well. A nice little spider want to join me. How's it going? Oh, you go. You go ahead. Off the table you go. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually start from the left and go to the right and work my way until I get to the top. All right, so what you want to do here is you're looking for the starting row. And what I'm doing is I will part and see See this branch, how that's going up, yet this foiler still continues to go down? That's what you want to cut, okay? Get all up inside there. And now you got to remember that you got to keep in mind that you're looking into the future here, right? So this plant, although it's small now, even at Dwarf, at Dwarf Alberta Spruce, it can still get three, four feet tall, depending on how how you want it. You can have this grow six feet tall if you wanted to. If you plant it in the right spot where it's getting nice soil, oh, it'll just keep growing. So I'm just going to continue this all the way around. And keep that line. And notice how I'm angling my shears down. And what I'm doing there is I'm creating a curved cut. And I'm going to easily show you here. Notice how when they rest, they're curved. However, if I lay them flat, you got a flat and straight edge, it's flush. That's a flush cut. So if I want this to, I see uh, more of a fine tune cut, I'm going to get it more flush. Okay? But I'm going to continue on this path that I have now. And just keep turning. Turn, make a cut. Turn, make a cut. You always, always want to, to step back, look at your progress, and see where you're at. Now, I see it's going to keep going up, and that's the way I'm going to take. Nice and easy. Just keep that angle. And notice this. I'm keeping like a, a 45 degree angle here, right? So that's just going to keep going all the way up. You see how I'm keeping that angle as I go around here. And you can easily do this from any direction, okay? You don't have to go from where I went left to right or my left to right. You can go from right to left, you know, and get that more so right now that I'm going left to right, what I'm doing is I'm creating this counterclockwise look right now. Whereas if you go right to left, that's going to give you your clockwise. All right, look at this. 
so it's already taking shape. And because it's so small, it's a lot easier to design. Now, notice the bare spots, but notice this little piece right here? That little tiny piece right there is going to eventually grow and fill out the rest of this. So now that I'll have that flush look as it begins and continues to grow over time. So I'm just going to keep going around. Now I noticed that, notice over here where you're getting um, less foilage growing right now. I want that to eventually go well, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue this and go right up over it. I'm gonna move this over so you can see what I'm doing here. Look at this, just going right into it. And do not be afraid. I always say there's no mistakes in Topia. No mistake, if I decide to cut the top of that off, that doesn't make it less of a topiary. That just means I changed the staff. The topiary is all about what you want it to be, okay? It's your imagination. Go wild, go free. Now, I do these uh, spirals because they're the easiest design and uh, everybody knows what a spiral is, right? However, I do a lot more intricate designs as well, and there'll be a link at the end of this video to it, and in the, um, in the about section. Make sure you subscribe, because there's going to be a lot of topiary being created on this channel, all right? Now, notice I grab the needle noses, because notice the blades, a lot smaller means I can get a lot closer detail with that as well. Look how easily that developed this spiral shape, right? So now that I've made it to the top, I'm just going to get all the little tiny needles off of it. Get it nice and flush. You don't want those growing back, right? And it will require constant maintenance throughout the warmer months. And what I mean by constant, I, I, it should be the, the right word. It's not necessarily constant as well as uh, you're doing this every single day. I mean constant as you're doing this periodically throughout the seasons to ensure that that growth does not come back. Now, what I'm using this for, though, is to open it up more so I can see the base, that trunk. Uh, another topiary artist uh, by the name of Pearl Fryer, he calls it the skeleton look. He'll take all these branches off so that he can see the inside of it. And that's essentially what I'm doing now. I'm creating a space so that you can have more definition coming into this. You see how that goes up? And I want that to come around. And I can actually end right there. So you can have this nice round look to it. Oh, and they smell awesome too. This is where you get your fine detailing work in. Anything that looks like it's sticking out, it probably is, and you should cut it. So it's one thing in topiary, you don't want to make the mistake of, remember there's no mistakes, however, you can make a mistake by second guessing yourself, right? If you're constantly second guessing, like, oh, I don't know if I should, I should cut this, oh, I don't know how that's going to look, just cut it. Because you know what? Not only are these plants very forgiving, they also want to grow back, right? So you're going to get new growth. So by any chance, it's like, oh, no, I didn't mean to cut that one branch. No worries, it'll grow back and you'll have a second chance later in the season to correct uh, your pattern that you were already designing. Notice I have a nice round curve here that's already developed. That nice 
nice and tight. There we go. Almost done. See how quick this was? You already have that pattern developed. And imagine you can wrap some lights around here. There's a lot of things you can do with this. So I'm going to take out anything so it dips down below. It makes a wonderful gift, makes a wonderful uh, attraction piece, a centerpiece, uh, you know, for the entryway, walking into your home, your apartment, your condo, whatever you reside, your office space. Your office space has a, a, a window by and you get a lot of sunlight. Guess what? You can have this sitting on your desk near the window and have a nice piece to have of artwork that's always going to be displayed every time that you come into your office or anybody else comes into your office. So let's get some of these pieces. So I'm looking at I'm looking at where it's going to grow. You know, I'm thinking, all right, well that's going to fill in that. That has to stay. However, some of these other pieces, they have to go. Just so that I'll be able to dip dip that in and around. I want to I want it to come away from the trunk. And notice that there's a single stem going straight up. And I made sure that I chose that uh, specifically for avoiding too wooded of a, a plant where it has multiple stems and multiple families that it can grow off of. You know, you'll want to, uh, you can bind it together with wire, you can do zip ties, you know, but rest assured your best uh, specimen is going to come from something that's single stem. Less to work with. Sometimes less is more, people. Alright, I'm just getting all the little tiny bits that I don't need. Anything that I feel that is going to be a nuisance later on uh, in the production of this life has to go. Look at that. Let's see, I'm going to take, take this off. Beautiful, beautiful. Came to life very fast. So this is a, a nice little project you guys can do at uh, schools because this is considered a form of therapy. You know, imagine people are doing this in nursing homes, uh, you know, in uh, schools where, you know, the kid may feel like they're, uh, they're a troubled child and they're not paying attention. Teachers, get them started on this. You know, and I can even uh, come and instruct you how to go about creating this topiary as well. But I want to make a nice, easy series that everyone can do. Because, you know what? I can't be everywhere. Uh, I can't be everywhere. You know, some people may think that, but yeah, I can't, can't be everywhere at once. So what we'll be doing is having a class teaching you how to do a topiary, how to create a topiary. And the therapy, so we call this topiary therapy. And what it does is it reduces stress levels, helps you to focus more. You know, those kids that they say had an attention deficit, this is something for them. This is something to show, you know, this is for everyone, but it's definitely for those, uh, those troubled kids that, you know, have a hard time to focus, you know, they've got a lot of things going on in their life. There's a lot of things you can do uh, with having this considered as a therapy session and have them create a topiary. They have to focus. They have to be able to overcome obstacles you know, they have to be persistent. They got to be confident. 
They got to be able to believe in themselves. They got to be able to see their vision and be patient enough to see it come to fruition. And look at that. A nice, easy, spiral topiary. Thank you for joining us. All the links will be down below. Hope to hear from you soon. Have a good one.